I mean, I was using the tire levers and everything. And it was still hard. At least it wasn't a motorcycle tire. You know what? Maybe that's what I should have done. With the motorcycle tires, you need bubbles to put the tire on. A lubricant. Yeah. Because there's no way you can get a tire over the rim without something that makes it more slippery. Well, the bubble solution, you know, it should dry out, but yeah, with that stand sealant, get it wet and I don't know. Although the stands is latex, which somewhat activates the rubber compound and makes it a little more sticky and tacky. So maybe that would offset the bubbles for Dawn. Yeah. Have you uh, retried doing the tape, maybe? The rim tape? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. So much to really think. It's like when, when I take it apart to get before the race. It's like three layers of really good. <laughs> Uh, the stuff that I've had to put on reminds me of like capped on tape. Capped on tape is what we used to do when we had to use tape for high temperature environments when we were working with composites in university or putting on thermocouples to measure temperature on rigs and stuff like that. Anyways, that rim tape that I got is very similar to that capped on tape. Luckily though, just about all of our bikes have come preset with tape on the rim. <sighs> Even that Enduro came with tape, but it doesn't hold the air as well as other bikes. Yeah. Why? Supply chain issues? Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what happened in Papua New Guinea? Oh yeah, I saw those headlines. Really? Yes. Well, when I used to be at SunPower, I remember seeing price estimation curves many years out. And you know, for a good couple of years when I was there, it showed the continual slide of polysilicon prices and a couple other metals and chemicals and stuff used to produce our solar cells. But then it said demand will finally catch up and bring it back up. But that was even pre-pandemic. So but then again, when they do those projections years out, how do you know? 
So, perhaps it continued to slide, and then really just the pandemic that is catching up with us on that. Yeah, that's just incredible for maybe a hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars worth of chips. It takes down that billion revenue. That is just so incredible. So for a long time, our company had been able to weather it, keep our supply chain good, have a good buffer or good contracts, but now it's starting to hit us. We're starting to get some difficulties. It's pushing out our lead times. Our factory is slowing down a little bit. I can't remember what kind of components it was primarily, but from what I hear is impacting things quite across the board. Even um, even passive components, resistors, capacitors, things like that. Um, I was reading today an article, even just the substrate material that is used to bond the chips to the boards, or maybe it's part of the solder paste, but they called it a substrate. They were having supply chain issues, so just surprising everybody. You know, no, what happened? Tell me about the email. Huh? Yeah. bad because the food service is needed by the kids at the school that need it the most. That's a shame. Well, I didn't bring Otter Pops today. <laughs> yeah, and maybe it's good with timing because it always surprises me.